good day everyone and first of all let me thank all of you for submitting the, this feedback let me assure you that uh, your feedback is very important to us and we are taking it very very seriously however i find um, it a bit hard to believe that 23 students um, are confused about the the very concept of an ordinary differential equation and that 24 students um, find it hard how to uh, substitute a function into a differential equation to see if it is actually a solution. So um, maybe let me remind you that um, when you fill the this feedback form, none of the, these questions is compulsory. So if you um, if you feel that uh, you kind of un understood all the topics, then you simply skip the, this question. You don't click anything, so you don't have to uh, choose any of the, these options. Right. So um, another thing that I, I would like to, to remind you about is that if you uh, um, have any specific question about a particular uh, point in, in, in the lectures, then you should post your question directly on YouTube, like, like here. Well, of course, you can, uh, well, if you don't like uh, your, your name to be shown in public, so you can just create um, another Google account and you post your question from that Google account. But then. I will answer all the these questions that you post on YouTube immediately, believe me. Okay? So, I, I hope it's clear. Then, uh, let me look at some particular suggestions about uh, how we can improve uh, our classes. Now, uh, if you try to look at them, then notice that some of them are contradict others, like shorten the break time. Um, make break longer. So give us more time, give us less time. I mean, of course, we cannot uh, give you more time and less time at, well, at the same time. So um, I, I will try to figure out what to do about it. Mm, so hopefully we are going to come to some uh, good solution. But uh, please understand that if, say, we do not shorten the break time or if we do not uh, speed up our tutorials, then it's not because we ignore your feedback, but rather because uh, other students submitted an opposite opinion. So um, then I understand that uh, my YouTube videos are soft uh, on the right side. Yeah, so I, I don't know how it happened. Uh, I have just checked. It is true that the uh, right channel is is much quieter and much softer than the left channel. I, I'll try to fix that if, if possible. Well, but then uh, I understand that some of you want more examples um, in, in lectures. Well, um, the the thing is that when I'm recording my lectures, I'm, I'm trying to make those lectures um, short and concise. I don't want them to be too long because you know if I, I record three hours of uh, um, of lectures every week then um, probably most of students will revolt so I'm trying to make it so that um, the material that I'm presenting in the lecture is sufficient to to understand the, the, all the concepts and is sufficient to uh, solve tutorial questions however of course I, I understand that if some students find um, that it is not sufficient, then you probably need more examples and so on and so forth. But uh, let me remind you again that, first of all, if you have any, if anything in particular is unclear in my lectures, then you just go to my YouTube channel and post your, your, your question. Then um, you can always read the textbook. The textbook contains more examples. So the textbook is available for downloading on our um, course page and of course you can just go to a, to a bookstore and buy it then you know if you uh, ask Google then you can always find more worked examples if, if you need them like if, if you, you know just type worked examples of direction field you know uh, you will get an extra set of specific examples and that, that you can just go through um, so the reason I'm trying to keep my lectures short and uh, give you some, some freedom in um, uh, 
finding those examples on your own is because first I, I don't want uh, you know to, to um, overwhelm you with material and second I would like to you to um, learn a little bit how to become independent learners you know so if you need some something then you can just uh, uh, try to find it yourself but again if after the lecture and if you after you've tried to google for more examples if you still don't get the material then please uh, answer the survey the next survey you know choose uh, sorry what is it choose these topics that you still don't understand and i will be glad to record 